Welcome back. So we're continuing with our anti-Sicilians, focusing on the Grand Prix attack, which typically you'll see the move F4, but guys like Nigel Short started playing Knight C3 before F4. And the reason for this is, is if, say, for instance, Black plays D6, we have a less effective version of defense for Black against the Grand Prix. So White began throwing in this move, Knight C3, just to try to trick Black into a less favorable version of an anti-Sicilian. So I really feel like we don't have anything to worry about from the immediate F4. You can just continue with the typical development which we've seen with A6. So after Knight C3, A6, F4, and then B5. Again, it's the consistent follow-up. So, I mean, G3, if it's played, of course, we're back in our analysis of the uh, closed Sicilian. So we'll say knight f3. And we'll look at a couple of the side variations here. For instance, queen e2. This was used by a Aronian in a rapid game. But I, I really don't see this as a very viable option because we have this idea with knight d4. And after takes, takes we're able to effectively use the open C file having a target here hitting the C2 pawn. So going back if D4 takes takes and I like after E6 we just have a typical Sicilian position. I mean the main thing that you have to watch out for here is don't give up the star square bishop simply because if he's able to accomplish a e5, knight e4, then the knight can either go to d6 or g5 with good effect. So we really need to watch out for these ideas. Uh, we see it a lot in the Taimanov Sicilian, where if knight, if white can get a knight on e4, typically black has a bad position. So the main line, and to me, and what's best, is simply going back into the close Sicilian. So the only difference that I was able to find is with g4 and then after d5 we can get this type of position and again you see we're not allowing them to take on d5 and we have to take back with a pawn. And this is an unclear position. So all in all, I think the main thing that you'll see transpose is this type of typical position. And this is slightly different from what we looked at with the closed Sicilian. So I'll just continue my analysis here where we get bishop takes d5. And this is a reasonable position. So I'll go ahead and close out our anti-Sicilians with that move.